Hey guys, before we get to the video, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, please click that subscribe button. Thank you. Hey guys, Joshua Griffin Air serving the Middle Peninsula and the Northern Neck of Virginia and wanted to do a video because I get one question more than any other question it seems like. I get this question on my Facebook and my videos and everywhere and that is what is the best brand? Who's good, who's not? And one common trend that you'll see across our industry is most heating and air guys can just about all agree that the brand matters less than who installs it. So the installation or who installs it matters more than what brand you select. Of course, we all have our preferences. We may disagree on who's the best, but ultimately we can all agree that usually the installer matters more than the brand that they install. And so the question becomes, I've actually gotten this question, what does that mean? What does it mean to have a bad installer versus a good installer? And that's what this video is going to cover. In fact, if you found this video, we're gonna do a series of videos where we're gonna talk about bad installations, bad installers, and some examples that you as the homeowner can sniff out and find if you're getting a good installation or not. So check out this video, but check out the whole entire series. And our goal is to arm you, to help you figure out if you're getting a good installation or not. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so now we've kind of gone over the outdoor units. We've gone over different wiring situations. Let's piggyback off our last video and just real quick touch on some of the switches that should be wired in on the systems. We see installers all the time install systems improperly by bypassing float switches. And if wired properly, I don't think you can have too many safety switches. And so when we install systems, we'll have a float switch on the secondary drain pan. We'll have a float switch on the easy trap coming off of the drain. We'll even have a secondary, depending on the application, a secondary port float switch that screws into the secondary port on the drain pan. And then finally, if they have a condensate pump, definitely wiring in that float switch. The point is real quick, just making sure that nothing's bypassed, everything is protected, and ultimately it's getting ahead of issues before they are issues. So if your drain were to back up, all the float switches are installed properly, working properly, and even tested properly. I would say when that system's installed, let's test those float switches. Let's lift up on them, make sure they kill the system like they're supposed to, and make sure everything's on the up and up. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. The last thing I'll say is if you're in the market for a new heating and air system and you're in Virginia in the Middle Peninsula or the Northern Neck, give Griffin Air a call. We'll give you a free estimate and the best warranty in the area. But if you're not in our coverage area, check out my new website. I've even got a little banner up here, newhvacguide.com. Check out that site because we've put so much information on there. It's as if I wrote a book telling folks, hey, here's the good and the bad. Avoid this or that. I've even got a whole page called no-nos, things to stay away from. And so before you spend thousands, check out that website. And finally, for more tips and tricks in the heating and air industry, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.